Yes, we do have yarn. And with the holiday season upon us, I know I am decorating the house with my family, and I'm watching all of the 12 movies that Hallmark has out for Christmas. Yeah. It's uh, premiering on the Hallmark Channel. All in November and December, December, it's a wonderful way to sit with your family, have hot chocolate, drink coffee. You can make your little balls that we're going to be making here with Vicki in a second. And uh, from uh, the PBS Knitting Daily with Vicki Howell, she's here herself, and she's going to show us an easy and cost-effective way to decorate your home during the holidays with a DIY yarn garland. When did you start this? Was, I always I want to know when people this. come in and they're so good. Was it a grandmother that you hung out with? That they, where did the oh, love start? When did start? I start this? Like, yeah, this like thing? when oh, did we're you? We're doing back. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we're taking <laughs> you back. You know, it's come funny. From? I've been crafty probably since I was old enough to hold a glue stick. But I used to work in the entertainment yeah. industry, and then um, I got pregnant with my first child and got laid off from the production company, and everything just sort of swapped and so I became this full-time mom and I, but I really needed something to still feed myself creatively sure. so I started this I started my own craft company which was a company then it was pre Etsy days pre blog uh -huh. and I started a couple of stitch groups which were knitting groups that's what yeah. they called them back then and somebody googled googled young hip knitter <laughs> and they found me they found me and in right. Austin, and I live yeah. in Austin, and so I got my 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 job back in the entertainment and, industry because of knitting, and you know because the well, that's so popular on movie sets. There's a lot of people right? that knit, and so much yeah. so free time to sort of yeah. Do that you thing. know, but, I think that people like to be creative, but they get intimidated mm -hmm. um, because they think it requires a lot of time or a lot of skill. And really, I don't care how you're creative. I just want you to be creative. Well, the you know? crafting and knitting and doing all of these uh, DIY is so popular all over the country. It's like the number one hobby in America. Yeah. It's yep. fun to do with the kids too, especially this time of year. It is, you know, and I think that we're at the season of family, right? right. Mm -hmm. And so anytime that you can pass that on, knitting, crochet, crafting, their oral tradition. So if you can pass that on, why not? <laughs> and for this particular project, um, it's a great one that you can do at a holiday party, a pre-holiday party with your family or on your own. Whatever. All right, well, All right. I got some of my family here, so That's let's right. do this. How do we, how do we do this? That was you. That meant I meant you. That was me. Yeah, oh, that yeah. meant you. Yeah, my like, my, my, my partner here. here. Okay, so how how do we make? Them? First of all, what are we doing? Okay, so okay. what we did is we started. Um, we make the felt balls, and all you need is just this regular wool yeah. yarn. yarn. It's really important that it's 100% wool or else it won't felt. It's got to be an animal fiber. Okay. And you can okay. just get this at your local craft store. And so what you're going to do from there is um, we showed, we shot a little bit earlier okay. the process of making these actual right. felt balls. So what do you do? You're measuring? So you're going to measure a few, um, about 20 strands, about five inches. Okay. okay. And this is, this is the very... Do you have to have the this music is my flare. Yeah, it, it yeah, helps. It's better for the music. Hey, watch, yeah. watch the flare. The flare. Did you see that? And yeah. then you're going to snip it so that you create little strands. And then what you want to do once you have those strands is you want to really work the yarn just to kind of loosen up the fibers. This is that same thing like if you've ever thrown a sweater accidentally yes. in the washer. Yes. Those fibers meld together. So you're going to squirt a little soap in your hand. And then this is really hot water, as hot as you can handle it. If you're working with littles, obviously don't go as hot. It's just, it'll go faster. Um, oh, that way. Magic. And then magic turns wow. into a That's what it ball. does? That's what it does. And it's just, wow. here you can see, go ahead and look, look at how cute is that? And these, wow. These are used in so many crafts you've probably seen in stores. I was just in anthropology the other day. They had a wreath with them. They they're had, so for like expensive. five quadrillion dollars. Yeah, they're so expensive. But one of these balls of yarn is, you know, like seven dollars, six dollars. And you, if you didn't want to do multiple colors, you could make several out of just that one. So this is an affordable way. Do you have and to do so them one at a time? I'm sorry. You you don't. Um, this can get laborious, right. and, but if you're doing it while you're watching the Hallmark movies, yes. it's yes. fun and you can roll. But there is a faster way to do it as well. Okay. If you want to do it, you can sort of take the um, process out. Although I got this hand soap, and it, it smells is, good. And I like you the way know, it smells. It, exactly, it's peppermint, so it might bring a little. Smells a little like bit of the flavor. A little Christmas. I understand you put your table. kids to work. You don't just. Uh... I did. So my daughter Clover, um, she's five. She worked on. A, you can see her there. Look at that little face. Oh my goodness. Oh. She, she oh. started Dorms. working. Yeah. yeah, she started working on one, and and I, that water kept her busy for hours. I'm sure yeah. it did. Oh, you can't yeah. buy that. No, no you can't buy that. Man, if you do uh, the six, seven hour crock pot pulled pork and you get her busy, you can yeah, take a nap. You totally yeah, do it. Right? exactly. But right. really, really quickly, uh, a faster way to do it is you can roll little yarn balls. You wouldn't cut it. You'd roll them like this, a little bit smaller, put them in an old nylon, 
rubber band them together. You're going to wash oh. them and dry them several times until they get really firm on very hot water. And you can create a bunch that way. You can, wow. Really fast. Um, and then how do you go, where do you go from there? Yeah. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take some baker's twine or embroidery thread or whatever, and you're just going to just poke just it Just like through. you would do popcorn, right? Exactly. Right. Only that the great thing about this is that this will last every year. And if you do have people participating with you, and maybe you do different so, so, colors. Yeah. Now, yeah. sometimes, you know what? Yeah. Goodbye. That one's dead to us. <laughs> okay. Go to, you, huh? you wow. go to the next one. And the cool thing is, is that if you were to use a bunch of different colors, maybe that would be a memory that you could pull out. Right. You could also decorate with them. Now, do you I not like, do you knot them? them in between? You can. As you can they see, like, watch. To, yeah. You don't really have yeah, to. Yeah, you don't. I do sometimes mm -hmm. just because I'm feeling sassy. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but you can just leave them plain like this uh -huh. with a little bit of space, or you could decorate them. You could sew on some sequins or some beads. And this is another great Ooh. way to tell a story. Mm -hmm. If you pull it out and you're like, oh, you know, Aunt Betsy. I don't know if you have an Aunt Betsy. Right. I don't. No. But everybody has <laughs> an Aunt Betsy. This, made this one, you know, and you can tell there's a little bit of glitter on it or right. whatever it is. And it just becomes this great, not only are you spending the time making it, but this is a piece that you can Feels pull out. very authentic, very old sort of fashion in a good way. Like yeah. you had something like yeah. this. Yeah, well, you know, old is new again. Generation. Yeah. I got my glitter caught in here. You did? Oh, yeah, it's my perfect. fault. My bad. More yeah. information yeah. on Vicki and her yeah. projects. We invite you These to stop beautiful. by VickiHowell.com and also oh, on her yeah. social media. Yeah, we'll get a shot of that as we're uh, stepping away. You can go to uh, at Vicki Howell go. on her Twitter. Full instructions on how to make this felted ball garland look. on our webpage. Look, well. look, look, I did we're it. We're coming look, back look, look. with Shirley Bobshaw. Yep, yeah, up next, some of the more beautiful poinsettias that you may have never seen, and I'm going to show you how to take care of them too.